බෞද්ධ අනත්ත ලක්ඛණ සුත්තක් so uh, 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 rupang atta how to say uh, in the anatta lakkana sutta uh, uh, evang me rup, uh, rupang atta abavissa buddha say if the rupa is atta oh sorry <laughs> uh, yeah so we went into once sunni uh, mosa rupang atta abavissa right if the rupa is atta evang me rupang hoti evang me rupang ahosi ma ahosi so may my rupa be like this and may my rupa not be like that so if the rupa is the self rupa is the self rupa is the i or self then he is asked someone asked how can we say rupang evang me rupang hoti may my rupa be such just because rupa itself is the self rupa is the self so how can we say my rupa again is another good question like if the rupa is self we should not be using my rupa and so forth so this is just a usage like uh, rupa is considered as self and then that rupa is again addressed as myself then next point is according to the tradition even though the uh, the, the the wrong viewers have such uh, ex, uh, explanations about the self what the tradition holds is they are not very sharp in this means because uh, if we consider rupa as the self we cannot call it my rupa so if the same thing happens in our sasana if we say patavi is the hardness we cannot say uh, the hardness is the characteristic of patavi because it it, it, it contradicts so likewise uh, sometimes the tradition would say the people who hold such wrong views are unable to distinguish such subtle differences so they would call the rupa as the self at the same time they would consider uh, my rupa rupa as mine rupa as the self as rupa as the mind when we consider rupa as mine the self has become something other than the rupa so uh, likewise uh, this kind of uh, uh, explanations are found related to self so therefore that's what i personally felt that this may in the first explanation uh, we found in the explanation is not related to this me i i thought it would be connected with this sentence explaining about the self though it gives a atthaniya feeling the commentator's idea was to explain about the self so this is how i look into this sentence yeah I'd like to know your ideas yeah it just a, uh, i mean that is like a different writing style of the uh, commentator because usually we we start so he starts with the uh, Uh, sangwanana and then he gave the uh, asangwanitapa and then he gave the sangwanana but he is yeah. in the sangwanitapa it's just not for which of the and then he start you know like a whole a lot of things and uh, so you usually it, it should be the sangwanana but that for that phrase but now it looks like you know it's it's the uh, a mixture of uh, sangwanana and sangwanitapa in there so it, it's complicated so that's why i'm confused <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah so it, it this seems like like uh, a different that's how what we should think i think it's a different style they have used a different style mm. i'll ask my friend because they he has much once mentioned there are a few types of sangmanana methods maybe how do they call it like because already the sangmanana was given so we start to think he is going to explain the entire sentence and then suddenly if if our explanation is correct if this is the correct explanation the sangmani tabba has come again right sangmani tabba has come again in between and it leads to a lot of confusion yeah sure uh um, oh hi pante so i have an uh, uh, another question about another word so it's the it should be easy i think sang right. sankara gate anupasanto okay. so sankara gate right. here is the Ah, 
I think sankara Yeah, we have few meanings here. One meaning is gata has no meaning. That right. is one. Right. So if this can be done, the diti gata, right? Diti and diti gata. Diti gata, according to my memory, they can form it like uh, diti, diti. Normally they say ditting gato. Ditting gato. Dutiya uh, tapurisa they use. One way is explaining ditting gato. Another explanation was uh, there was a second explanation I forgot. Uh, dit, uh, in that case, they have used gata as a different like like which has no meaning. Normally, the original explanation is the dutiya tapurisa. Yeah, sankarangato, sankaragato. But there were two explanations. I'll check and let you know. Oh, if you can put this in the uh, question Q and A, we will have a discussion on this because it's issue. Sure, sure. Yeah, commonly found it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But Dutiya Tapurisa is for sure uh, one explanation. So, Bande, mm -hmm. I have yeah. another question regarding the Bali Boda Taniyam. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how, how, how can we understand this part? Uh, where is that? And now, but we said it there. Yeah, Paliboda Tanya. Yeah. Paliboda is obstacle, right? Something like, like a burden or something. Paliboda. Paliboda Tanya. Uh, Paliboda Tana. We can see Paliboda Tana, a cause for Paliboda. And Paliboda, we'll check it. Paliboda Tana. Tananti. Oh, it's only found in uh, Paliboda Tana. Paliboda Titi. Uh, something uh, which is a reason for Paliboda or some uh, a place we can call it also a place or but it is, seems, seems like something related to bring Paliboda there will be no nothing which is uh, which brings Paliboda to me uh, Paliboda Tanya means a cause for Paliboda. So here we, is we have to we divide the Paliboda and the Tana or, or Atana. This is Tana because if it is Atana, a, a will be long, right? Oh no, then <laughs> okay, okay. Then <laughs> Paliboda Tanya. Okay. So you mean like this, right? Your question is, okay. Paliboda plus, the, what I define is Paliboda Thana, right? Thania. Thania. Then what you're asking is Paliboda, Paliboda Thana, right? Yes. Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> the good question. <laughs> then I feel, yeah, this, how do we differentiate? Because if you connect this also, Pali, Bodhat, Anya, even here, what happened? Pali, Bodhat, but normally it would be Pali, Bodhat, Anya, but what happened because of the double vowel consonants, we become Palibodhat Tanya. Then in such cases, the alternation is, but it is not, uh, I would not say it as a rule. Yes, another possibility is Apalibodhat Tanya. So, uh, 
this is like uh, the a has come in front. For example, we have punageya, apunna punageya. For example, puna nageya gata. A gata that should not be recited again. Geya is that should be recited. Puna is again. Puna ageya it should be. Gata is the uh, reference. So normally, this should be puna ageya. So it should be puna ageya. But it appears apuna geya. This R has come in front. So we can have two formations of this puna geya, ne puna geya, or puna ne geya, ne geya, apuna geya. So we can have two definitions for this. But the commentators used to, uh, the tradition used to say this is uh, one kind of a special samasa. This R has come in front. So likewise, apalibodha thana seems uh, another alternative, but otherwise, as you said, we'll not be able to distinguish. Yeah. We'll not be able to distinguish. And then, Pante, um, yeah. we, we have to think about this in the context, right? Because according yeah. to this um, uh, analysis, then the taniya and atta, ataniya, mm -hmm. they have opposite meaning, right? Yeah. So, so, so ta, taniya, the tana, tana is the place. So you said it's the cause. Mm -hmm. So, but the ataniya is not the place. It's not the cause. So it looks to me that that we should take it as the taniya, right? Mm, yeah. According to the context, yeah. yeah. According to the context, yeah. So there can be some such words, I think, like with sim opposite meanings. But as you said, we have to look into the context and get the meaning. That is the appropriate way, I think. Otherwise, we cannot make this as a rule. Like it's just the idea. But uh, this will be the two, both will have the two same formation. Uh, and I checked in the Pitaka, it only appears in one place, actually, Yeah. 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 Uh, you mean this? Uh, uh, because of that, then kinchi palibodha taniya number is there will be nothing uh, which will bring uh, how to say palibodha? Good translation. Palibodha is uh, obstacle. Obstacle to me. Yeah, something would bring obstacle to me. Ayatimpi attaniyang nama na me kinchi bavisi. In future also there will be nothing uh, because there is. Uh, there is no thing that because there is no self, uh, so we can have tato eva kinchi palibodha taniyang na bavisati. There will be no obstacle. No, no, we can say no, no uh, burden, no uh, responsibility because there is no self. Responsibility means like there will be no, no such uh, things that uh, would bring obstacles to me. Tato eva kinji paliboda tanya nami bavisit. I think in future also, Atanya nama nami kinji bavisit. There will be no nothing to be considered as mine. So then we can uh, have another uh, uh, consideration about this. What does these two sentences mean? Evang, because there is no self, kinji paliboda tanya nami bavisit. This is a one, uh, we can see this as a one sentence. And then ayatimpi uh, attaniyang nama kinchina bavisati. So are these two sentences are different meanings, or is it just the uh, the blue one is explanation of the red one, right? So it means in future also, 
P is there. I think P even in future. In, again, Atanya Nama Nami Kinchi Bhavasi. There will be nothing to be considered as mine. So here it says there will be nothing that would bring obstacles to me. So are they identical? So Kinchi Palibo that Taniyan is it Atanya? Right, another thing to be considered. Kinchi Palibo that Taniyan and Atanya are they same or are they different? Uh, in the uh, here also. Anagatepi Kanda Vinimutto Atta Nam Nakochi Atta Nam Nakochi. There will be no one called self. Name Bhavisati Ne Pavasati Pavatisati. There will be no one called no person called self other than the five aggregates would appear uh, in me would appear to me. So therefore, there will be no nothing which is a burden, right? And Ayatimpi. That, uh, because of that, there will be no, no burden. And no burden means nothing to, no reality or nothing which is a burden. And in future also, there will be nothing to be considered as mine. So we can have some uh, insights on these, like, can see some subtle.